Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa and for today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a brutally honest Gymshark review. Late November, like right after, was it Thanksgiving? Like right in the beginning of December, they had their like big blowout sale. I guess they have once a year. And I decided that that would be the time for me to take the plunge and try some pieces that I've had my eyes on. This is going to be a try on video today and for any of you guys who are wondering about like my body type, I am 5'3 at the most. I'm probably not even 5'3 but I'm going to say I'm 5'3 <laughs> and I weigh as of this morning 182 pounds. So your girl's pretty thick but that's okay because again we are on our journey. I do want to preface this video by saying that by showing you guys my body in videos like this, I'm not fishing for compliments. I don't need any sort of validation on my body this is all for me but because Gymshark is so expensive and I am not your typical like you know zero to like six body type range I figured that I would do a try on so you guys could see how it would fit on my body maybe if you're looking into it so that is why I am doing this for you guys so yeah I'm super excited I got my package in I will say this took a couple of weeks to get to me now I knew probably with the sale it would but apparently this also comes from like the United Kingdom so this is an event, I did get free shipping and I will add all the numbers of everything so as I try stuff on I'll write the price, um, I'll write it's full price and it's sale price and I want to say that I bought five pieces and I spent $178 which is pretty expensive y'all like that's what I'm saying like Gymshark ain't, it ain't the target price you know what I'm saying so yeah without further ado I really hope that you guys are excited for this video, I hope it helps you out. And yeah, you guys, if you like it, you know the drill. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, you can hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And yeah, you guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. This is the packaging that it did come in. It came in like a bag like this. And it comes in like this clear packaging that says like Gymshark somewhere on it. Each item is individually wrapped. Um, I think it's really nice that it comes this way. It's easy to tell what it is. It has a sticker on the back. So this is the Camo Seamless Legging in Black. But so this is what these look like. It has a very thick waistband. It very lightly, I don't know if you can see here, curving on the side does say Gymshark in black. I do like that this pair in and of itself, which I have another pair of like their flex leggings I think, and it writes like Gymshark pretty big on the butt. So I do like that this is a little bit more um, hidden. Subtle is the word I'm looking for, but it is this camo in black, which I really enjoy camo lately, but I don't like the typical camo itself. So I like that this is a subtle version. I like that it is black and gray. It comes down all the way. I'm pretty sure this will be considered like a full length, which I'll let you see how that hits on my short little legs. Um, and this does have like, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but like the ruching right there at the top of your little butt cheeks to like kind of make your butt look a little more... You know what I'm saying? So I got that and with that I also picked up, this is the Camo Seamless Sports Bra also in black. Again, I got this in a medium as well. So this is what she looks like. It's that same pattern. It's got the little Gymshark shark logo right there in white. It's solid. It's got pretty thick padding, thicker than almost anything else I would wear and it is removable out the side. And the back is pretty strappy. Again, this is a little bit more than I would do. I'm pretty simplistic at the gym. I typically just wear like standard sports bras. If I know I'm doing a lot of like high impact cardio, I will wear something that's a little bit more like, I don't have big boobs, but you guys know how it is. Even if you have the tiniest of boobs, if you start running, they start hurting. So I think this is gonna have a pretty good kind of like compression rate by the way that it feels. But yeah, it's pretty strappy in the back, which is not normally my style, but I think it's nice. And again, if you can tell, it's got Gymshark kind of written there in black. So I'm gonna pop both of these on really quickly for you guys. So just one second. Okay, you guys, so this is the first set on. I will say that it is very high compression, which I really appreciate because I like to feel very secure in my leggings when I'm at the gym. I don't want ones that like cut me off so much where they like roll over and fall, but I also don't want them to be any sort of low cutness at all. 
I brought a mirror over here. I did check these are squat proof. So if that's something you're looking for, then these are it. I will say that it feels really comfortable and it does kind of come all the way down. It bunches a little bit, but I'm pretty short and I didn't see it, but it has a little Gymshark symbol at the end of my heel there as well. So if I come closer and let you see, which sorry, it's going to be just this sports bra pushing up all that cleave on me, but this is what it looks like. It is giving me a little bit of like, you know, Pillsbury Doughboy in here, but we're working on that, you guys. We are working on it. I will say that I'm very comfortable in it. It is snug, but not too tight. The ruching on the butt is cute. Does this make me look like one of those like really fitnessy girls? Like, do my butt look really good or no? <laughs> um, the sports bra, this is the back of it. It wasn't too terribly uncomfortable to get in, and I think the straps are quite nice. Because they're thicker, it's not really like doing too much, so it's not like completely out of my style, I guess is the way to put it. I will say that this is full of cleavage though. Like, I don't have any desire to push my boobs up this much, but this, fourth broad does. I will say that you are not gonna catch me in the gym in just this outfit. No, 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 no. Um, I would definitely wear a shirt with it. That's just my comfort level. I'm not comfortable enough to like walk around like this in the gym and do all my workouts. It wouldn't be a good workout for me. I will say that my belly button is here and the pants come all the way up to there. So I really do like that. So yeah, I would definitely give this outfit like a solid like seven out of 10. It is rolling up just a little bit like the sports bra up here. Not in a way that I'm like, I wouldn't keep it. I definitely think I'm going to keep this outfit and I actually have to go to the gym today for my workout. So what I think I'm going to do is because I know I'm gonna keep both of these pieces, um, I will wear them to the gym and then maybe insert it at the end of this video, letting you know like what I think of it as a actual workout piece, not just something that I'm standing around in. But moving on to the next pair of leggings, I got the, <laughs> I think these are like the most well-known ones, the ones that I guess like launched them into success. These are the high-waisted flex legging in charcoal, charcoal, marl, and like pastel grape. Again, this is in a medium. And let me get the papers and stuff out of it. So these are the ones that you guys have probably seen the most, especially in this gray color. It's got light gray and dark gray where like contours would be. Again, these are all the way long. I typically would wear like three quarter length leggings cause I'm pretty short, but there just weren't a ton that I really cared for. The purple comes just from the band on the back that says Gymshark. This is what I was talking about in comparison to the other. I don't hate this, but I prefer it to look like the one on this where like you can't really see the wording. I just don't love to be branded. I'm like with the booty contouring, like honey, people know you're wearing Gymshark, okay? But yeah, I'm pretty excited about these because these are the most iconic ones that kind of make your butt go, you know what I'm saying? And who doesn't want their butt to go? Yeah. So I'm going to try these on. I'm going to leave the sports bra on because this was the only sports bra that I purchased. So I'm going to just leave this on and then try on these pants for you real quick. Okay guys, so here are the flex leggings in the gray. I would say these are a little less high compression than the camo that I just tried on, but still high compression in general. It's not like I feel like I'm really gonna go anywhere. I did check and these are also squat proof, so that is good. I think the design and the color is cute. Um, this pair doesn't necessarily make me feel as comfortable as the camel one, I think because it emphasizes the things about my body that I'm working on, which I will show you as I get a little bit closer. So obviously, this does emphasize the fact that I have a little bit of weight here that I'm working on. This line right here is my underwear line because it's rolling. I don't wear underwear at the gym, so that wouldn't be there typically. But for the sake of this video and for sanitary reasons, I am. <laughs> um, and so I feel like this isn't too bad. The little booty contour is nice, but I can't tell like if this line is supposed to be like more up under my butt cheek and it's just not. But I do think they're quite cute. They do bunch up a little bit at the end as well, but nothing that I'm really uncomfortable with. You can always roll it if you don't like that. These are really comfortable. Like they feel very easy to move in, which I do appreciate. I like these. I think I would give these like a six 
out of 10. Like they're not my most favorite pair of leggings that I've ever worn just because I don't think that they flatter my figure at this moment in the way that like some of my other ones do be because I just, I just do kind of hate that you can see this more noticeably here, which I mean, I'm working on it, but like, what can I say if I'm being completely honest about how I feel with the way it looks on my body at this moment? Okay, and so the last two things that I got, I got another pair of leggings, and this is the Energy Seamless Crop Leggings, and this is in like a maroon color, so like I told you guys, like I typically go for crop leggings because I am pretty stinking short, um, so this was the one pair that I did find. So these have a different type of material. It's still a very thick band. Again, this is in this maroon color and it has a bunch of like eyelet details like down the thigh and around the ankle. So these ones have just a little bit more zhuzh to them, I guess. It has the little Gymshark logo right there in the back, which I prefer this to the large Gymshark words written across my back at this moment. Um, but I think it's super cute. I like the color O and it does have Gymshark written right there, which again, still prefer. Um, these are very soft feeling and they do feel pretty stretchy. Like the band up here feels pretty thick, but like the legs feel pretty stretchy. So I'm excited to see how these work. I did pick up one top because I figured I kind of needed to try one out. So this is what it looks like. It's this really soft, kind of like ribbed material. It is very stinking cropped. It has a little tie here at the waist and it has Gymshark written right there like on a patch. I do like the way that is written. It feels nice. It's very soft. It feels pretty sturdy. The band here is very thick and heavy. That's what's giving it all the weight. Okay, so here's this outfit, the bottoms and the top. Um, these bottoms are not squat proof on my behind. A darker color possibly, but when I squatted, you can see all of my underwear in it. These could be for arm days or for something else, but I would be aware because if you're bending over to get stuff, this may not be the pair that you want to wear. So this particular pair of pants is like literally like a second skin in the sense that like it is not kind of like smoothing out my body. Instead, it's like perfectly laying against it. So I can make out all of my cellulite on my butt and my thighs, which like I don't have a problem. Like girl, I got cellulite, it is what it is. But like that's not necessarily what I want to be emphasized while I'm working out. I'm not ashamed that I have it. We all have it, even smaller people than me. But it's just not like, it doesn't make me feel as comfortable as the other two pair of leggings. I will say, I'll pull it down. The eyelid detail is very, very pretty. Um, I do like that, it's there. And up on the front of my leg goes all the way around the, my calf. Um, it has kind of like little lines that kind of like swoop in certain places that kind of give like contours to the leggings. But again, maybe you can see it there a little bit better. These are just definitely not my favorite pair. I think the color is really nice. Like I wish that I liked it for the color, but I'm just not quite as comfortable in this pair of leggings as I was the other two. Now showcasing you the top, which is actually making me very sweaty. So this is what it, the top looks like. It's pretty nice. I'm sure you can tie this. Um, it wouldn't tighten on my body. Um, I am pretty solidly built in the sense that like from like the front to the back part of my body, I'm pretty thick this way. Sleeves do run a little long on me, but I don't mind. Some people like this look, I don't mind it. But you can pull them up or technically roll them up if you have problems. It does feel good, it's very soft, but I don't think this is something that I would feel the urge to keep because this is very cropped. <laughs> I knew it was cropped, I don't know what I was expecting, but it is like literally the same place as the sports bra, as you can tell. And um, I'm not gonna wear just this in a pair of pants to the gym. This does make me more comfortable than just being in the sports bra, but not comfortable enough to actually be like, I'm gonna go to work out like this. Like it's just, it's not gonna happen. I do think it's very flattering, like because it is still long and the leggings are high, and if you're comfortable with this, I think this is probably absolutely beautiful on someone's body. I just don't feel as comfortable in it for me personally to go get my workout on. Maybe if I was just kind of like walking around, but I'm not going to do that either. So <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I don't think I'm going to keep either of these pieces. I just don't feel like for the money, which I will have put up here, that these are worth it. I'm pretty sure I know that I paid $40 for this shirt. And uh... $40 it is not worth another thing 
apologize for this dad but this is camel toe central so the Camel ones were really not bad. I know that they're meant to like be pulled up in there because it's meant to be pulled up up under your butt too, which is totally fine. The gray ones weren't as bad. It's nothing that I'm not really used to with my other leggings because again, because my butt is, you know, pretty solid in the cheek area, I do like it up under there. And I mean, it is what it is. We all know I'm a woman. But like this pair, this pair is straight up like causing the crease in the middle, not just on the side, emphasizing my business. So like this is not cute. Like it's just not cute. It is camel toe central. It is cellulite central. And I am just not nearly as comfortable in this pair of leggings as I am the other one. So I will rate these leggings probably like, I mean like a four out of ten and that's primarily for the color and the design the shirt i would give this shirt probably like a five out of ten it's nice quality it's very soft and i think if this is something you're into it would look beautiful on you i'm just not comfortable wearing something like this in a manner that i feel like i should keep it would sit in my drawer or in my closet and i literally would never wear it okay you guys so let's kind of go over my thoughts i did take that other top off because i was getting hot and i don't want to sweat in it because i'm going to be returning it um the two things i'm going to be returning are the uh cropped sweat shirt thing um now and i'm only returning this because i just don't feel like i'm ever going to be comfortable enough in something this cropped to wear it for its intended purpose i do think this is a nice piece though it's thick on the waistband where like it's not gonna like ride up and like show anything that you don't want it to show but it's thin enough everywhere else where like i don't think you would like literally die in it and it could be something that maybe like if you like working out in the sports bra and the pants that you just like wear this if it's chilly out and then take this off when you get there and do a little workout in your little outfit like that so i do think this is a nice piece it's just not for me personally um so i'm gonna be returning this one and so then i'm gonna be returning the energy seamless leggings um i just don't care for them on my body type i do think the cutouts are really pretty and i think they do add a really nice touch to the leggings that you don't see in a lot of other leggings they just don't make me feel as comfortable and so i know i'm definitely not going to reach for them so there's no reason for them to sit in my drawer i love the color okay so with the sports bra i am going to keep this i feel like this is a pretty solid piece it's not as bad as i thought it would be when i first pulled it out of the packaging um i like that it's subtle i don't mind the strappiness because it wasn't one of those like thin extra strappy ones like when you put it on they're all tangled and it looks ridiculous so it wasn't hard for as soon as I put it on for everything to lay like it should. I appreciate the padding even though it's more than I typically would go for and it's way more booby-y than I would care for. Um, but I do feel like it's a pretty solid sports bra and I definitely think for more like high impact days this is a nice one. I would say that if you're extremely busty and you don't want your girls pushed up this is not the sports bra for you and if you just don't want your girls on display at, at all this ain't gonna be it because it does really push them together and emphasize if you do like your boobies out and you want to be like hey this is gonna be the one you want to try out first because um even when they're pushed up they do feel secure so i don't think like you're gonna have to worry about like anything coming free in the gym so i'm gonna keep it i can honestly say that, that i don't know that i would purchase another one like i i just don't think that i would need this many sports bras that have this type of design and like low cutness but i do think it's a pretty solid sports bra and i'm excited to try it out with the flex leggings i'm gonna keep this pair primarily because i think i'm going to like it more as i really continue on my fitness journey um i do wear shirts to the gym so i'm not that worried about like the area that i told you that like oh you could kind of see like my lower belly pooch like I mean it's there I have it and it's mine so I'm just gonna have to deal um so I like how like comfortable these are I liked how stretchy and breathable these were are not like my top favorite but I think these are quite nice I just think that because it has like those contour areas it is gonna draw more attention to your body so I really don't mind that like it it is what it is like my body's my body and if you don't like it don't look but it is gonna draw more attention to your body, especially your butt, because of the booty contour. So if you're not comfortable with that, don't purchase these, you're not going to like it. If you don't mind and you want your booty to be up and popping and there by see your booty cute, um, you may really, really like these. 
Okay, and so for the last thing, these camo leggings, these are my favorite thing out of the entire bunch that I purchased. These are the highest compression, but without being uncomfortable. These are a little bit thicker than the flex leggings, which I do like, especially when it's like colder outside or anything like that. As I've already mentioned, I prefer the way that the logoing is done a lot more subtly on these. And I definitely like the little fact that it does have the little booty rouge here. So it's still going to give you that lifted like kind of effect on your butt. But unlike the flex leggings, it's not going to bring that much attention to your rear end because it's not doing any sort of contouring on the legs. So I think that in my personal opinion, just by having tried this stuff on that if you want to try out one thing, like if I was like, girl, you just need to try out one thing, I would try these first because in my opinion, these are the most flattering on my body type. I think these are going to have me feeling the most comfortable and confident at the gym. I also really like that this is going to go with anything that I wear, any of my shoes, any of my tops because of the color. So I do really like this. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping these if you couldn't tell. So the three things that I'm keeping are the two things from the camel line and the flex leggings just for reference again. Okay guys, so I'm going to get ready to head to the gym pretty soon and I'm going to wear the camo set today to kind of give you maybe some more in-depth thoughts on them after I have actively worn them instead of just like trying them on and walking around. So I'm going to let you guys know how they performed and what I thought, if they're comfortable and everything like that. So I will insert that footage right now. Okay you guys, so it is actually the next day that I went to the gym because someone hurt himself yesterday so I had to make sure he was good so we couldn't go. So I wore the Gymshark leggings and sports bra that I said I would wear the camo set. It was really nice. Uh, the waistband did roll down a bit but we did abs so I figured that would probably happen and the sports bra band rolled up a bit but it was honestly not in a way that I noticed so like I was like actively checking on it. I did wear this sweatshirt in there because again I told you I wouldn't wear just the two piece of the gym that's on my comfort level but also it's like 40 degrees outside so I also don't want to be sick. So I like these. They were very comfortable, very breathable. I didn't sweat really bad and yeah I'm pretty excited about it so I'm glad I kept this pair. So I still stand by my statement that I would recommend especially the camo leggings to you guys. Uh, the sports bra only if you're into that kind of cut and like that much like push up but it wasn't annoying and it wasn't too tight where I feel like uncomfortable and restricted in the outfit so yeah overall I enjoyed it I'm excited to keep wearing it and I'm excited to try the flex leggings next so okay you guys so that is all for today's video I really hope that this helped some of you out and you had a better insight on the way that Gymshark works and fits if you would like to see me do other try on videos like this, go ahead and leave me some suggestions down below. It can be for almost anything and it can be more Gymshark pieces if there is something else that you want to see on my body. Um, but yeah, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a brand new video. Feel free to come follow me on Instagram at Alyssa and Pope and I will see you in my next one. Bye!